Well, welcome to DTV. I'm joined by senior coach Paul Ruse today, who's uh, going to be looking at the D's just in the lead up to the uh, Christmas break. And uh, Ruse, good to chat to you again, mate. Um, how's it been the past sort of six or seven weeks up until the uh, Christmas break? Yeah, we've had a set plan. I mean, we've tried to go through some stages. Obviously, the early part of was getting them fit with the running. You know, we've probably had a few in rehab coming off off-season off operations, which is not ideal, but um, a lot of them are sort of caught up a bit. But for us, probably the Christmas period is really important for that group of players that haven't done a lot. For the guys that have done most of it, it's been a really good sort of six or seven weeks. Uh, and they probably need to have a bit of a mental break and mm -hmm. as well as a physical break. So there's probably almost two groups of players, the ones that have done everything and the ones that need to catch up. And But, but they've, look, they've really been good in terms of their intent. Uh, the training sessions have been of good quality, so not too many complaints. Yeah. Who's uh, impressed you and caught your eye so far? Probably it's more of a general uh, thing. I mean, not having seen a lot of the club over three years, certainly watched a lot more closely towards the end of the year and obviously the coaches dissected post-season looking at it. Um, look, I think the, the guys uh, you know, good athletes when, you know, when they're running. I think the biggest probably deficiency is the, is the game style running that, which we're trying to get them up to speed on. You know, their ball use is really good. I mean, the skill level is quite high, so that's probably an area I've been really pleased with. You know, they, they, they don't make necessarily fundamental errors during training. Now, obviously, that's without pressure. Um, so, look, probably across the board, I've been really pleased with the way that all the guys have attacked it. Mm. Have you noticed a difference since when you first took over to where they're at now, just in, in the improvement? I probably, I, I have, but it's interesting when, with, with Jade, I mean, who's been here a fair while, I mean, he's probably seen the bigger improvement just in, in a general sense. And sometimes that comes after two or three pre-seasons, you know, guys like Jimmy Tompas, the second one, and Jack Viney. So sometimes that's just the natural progressions of guys going through two, three, four pre-seasons where they tend to, to jump up a fair bit in their second or third, third pre-season. But certainly from my point of view, it looked like they have improved. Look, they've embraced things pretty quickly. Um, and that's been good. Mm. A few of the recruits, uh, two of them, of course, are Daniel Cross and uh, Bernie Vince, two of the older guys at the club now. How have they been on the track so far? Yeah, they've really added to the group. There's no question about that. I think it's it's not an old and experienced group, as we know. So you know, to, to get a 28-year-old and a 30-year-old at most clubs, people would be going, oh, why are you doing that? I think everyone understood why we're doing it here, and both players have vindicated you know, the early faith we've had in them. Really good trainers, both of them, good habits, good good guys to be around a footy club. Uh, they train really hard and train really well, so they've really added to the group. Mm. Two other guys, I guess, uh, who are looking for real opportunity at the D's are Viv Michi and uh, Aidan Riley. How are they progressing? Yeah, I mean, obviously Aidan's, you know, we knew when we got Aidan that he was going to have that, you know, he's recovering from the broken leg mm. and there wasn't a lot of pressure. He's probably a little bit ahead and I actually just spoke to him briefly before and said, look, don't get too ahead of yourself. You know, we know there's still a fair way to go. The tendency is when they go away from the club, they try to do too much. So he's just got to keep himself, um, you know, pull himself back. Viv's last month's been really good, but his Christmas period is really important as well, just to get some more miles in his legs and just the game running. But certainly, you know, he's he's, he's a natural footballer. Mm. Probably the the one area that he needs to improve on is his running, and I think he, he knows that as well. Yeah. And Don Tyson, of course, the other one that uh, the D's acquired. How's, how's he progressing? Yeah, look, he started to join in to, to, to ball work, which is good. And, and look, yeah, he's one where you watch him train. He's, you know, you can see that he's got. You can see why he was an early draft pick. He's just a, you know, really smooth mover. He uses the ball really well and a good decision maker. So look, his Christmas period is important too, just to get some miles in the legs over Christmas, and to come back and give himself a real chance to have a good season. But his last, you know, two or three sessions have been really good. Yeah. Yeah, a few guys have uh, entered the system with only about a month at the club with uh, Christian Salem and uh, Jay Kennedy Harrison, Jaden Hunt, who, who are acquired in the, uh, the draft. Um, going to be taking a little bit of time with those guys, I'm sure, but uh, how are they tracking? Yeah, look, good. My, my expectation of you guys coming in is that they've just got to fit in, they've got to learn some good habits, they've got to train hard. I think the pressure comes from their, their peers that have come before them. I mean, there's a lot of talk about drafts now and when what picks they are. There's so much pressure on the kids coming in to, to footy and then such and such played you know 15 games last year and someone else played 22 the year before and he was picked seven and he was picked nine. My view is completely different. You know, if you play one game in your first year, that's a bonus. You know, for us, you know, if we're a good organisation and a good team, you know, young players find it very hard to get in in really good sides. So we want to be a really good side where young players, no matter what they're drafted at, 
um, you know, struggle to get a game. Having said that, if they, they go through the stages and have a good pre-season, don't get injured, get some good habits, you know, work to the game plan, then there's no reason why they can't play, but certainly my expectations is year one. They've, they've got to develop some good habits, and, and it's really year two that they start to be looking at becoming a, a senior player. Yeah. The, uh, the forward line's been talked about a bit for a while now, but we haven't seen it together for, for a number of reasons, but Jesse Hogan and Chris Dawes and Mitch Clark. Uh, haven't played together yet, but something probably that uh, Demons fans are looking forward to. How are they just building up with their... Pre-season? Yeah, obviously with Mitch and Dawes, they've had a lot of injuries and that's probably a big part of the focus, just you know, getting them through to, to round one next year. And, and, and Hogue's is a little bit different. I mean, he's obviously a young kid that's pretty bouncy and resilient and wants to do everything. Um, and he, he looks like a really you know, high-quality talent and his training habits are really good. Mm. You know, being in the system for a year has been really important, I think, for him, understanding what, what it takes. But he's been super impressive. Yeah, we'd love to get all three you know, available for round one. I mean, obviously, if that happens, it makes us a much better team. Yeah.